So, hey guys, and welcome or welcome back to the channel. So, um, there's obviously stuff to do because there always is. And uh, I was thinking that maybe I should do uh, a weekend video, shoot over Saturday and Sunday. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll see. Maybe maybe I get enough stuff to make a video today. Uh, otherwise, I'll yeah, I'll cover the entire weekend. So yeah, let's get into it. Start with the spitting cobra. I noticed there was some poop back there, and yeah, I have a feeling there might be more. So I'm gonna pull her out, and I'm gonna change her water. But yeah, I'm gonna need two hands for that. So see you in a bit. So yeah, she really, really stood her ground. That was great to see. So yeah, uh, I just had to show that again. See you in a bit. So she's not overly happy, but you know, I'm not gonna be long. You know how this works. A little bit of a spritz. do this and film at the same time you know I, I really like to show her off but yeah look at her uh, but yeah it's a bit hard to do that with one hand and yeah huffy puffy lady there she goes no poo So yeah, she'll be pissed for at least 30 minutes because I disturbed her sleep, but I mean, there's no more poop in here and fresh water, nice humidity. She doesn't appreciate me at all. Anyway, let's leave her be. Cranky, cranky girl. So let's just go for a spritz in with the puff adders and we'll see her. I'm just guessing, but I think we'll see her. Head straight for the glass and start drinking. Of course she did it. Yeah. And so yeah, I sprayed on the glass a fair bit, but yeah, she's there. Poking her head up. Nim, nim. Yeah, the male is pretty unbothered by misting, but she seems to react every time. And yeah, she normally goes straight for the glass, but I guess not today. Ah, well, move along. So yeah, the copperhead. He was not very happy to see me before. He seems to, he was rattling his tail, but he seems a bit more relaxed right now, but you know, that's gonna change. 
like this. I need to pull him out because right next to him there's a big old poop. Well, not that big and not that old, but still. What do you say? Did you poop? Look at that. Look at those beautiful, beautiful scales. Yeah, I feel like a nature documentary guy. That's a money shot right there. Oh, well. Let's pull him out. So let's see what kind of mood he is in. I'm guessing not a great one. You know, he used to be such a sweet, sweet boy. Now, he just don't like me. And he's been way more difficult to hook lately. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you caught that, but I was just about to say, do not want to tail him because he can turn around so fast. been difficult lately. So, he's been on quite the poop fest. So, let's put him back in. So, I have a feeling that he won't go willingly. And so, last couple of times he's been shooting out of uh, the box. Uh, I'm sorry you don't have that in frame, but yeah, maybe, I, maybe I'll change the view a bit. And uh, yeah, you'll see, he'll shoot right out. And honestly, he's actually super slippery on the hook, so. Let's see. Maybe if I go gently. Nope. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, striking the wall. Yeah, that actually went a lot better than expected. Uh, I don't know what happened. He used to be like the sweetest little copperhead. Then all of a sudden, he turned into a cranky old man. Well, I can kind of relate to that. Well, anyway, moving on. 
Yeah, he doesn't seem too unhappy. Yeah. Life is pretty good when a big old dumbass chases you around with a hook, right? Yeah. Look at those tongue flicks. So, moving on to the Sasuke Vipers. Where did I put the tongs? Hey, buddy, are you hungry? I hope so, because you're getting food. Yes, you are. How about the rest of you? Things facing this way? No, just that guy. Let's just move to this very, very smooth. Maybe not so smooth. But yeah, who cares? So let's check with the coral cobra. So he's right there. But yeah, I'm gonna see if he wakes up if I open up. But I just need to take a look. A little bit of poop over there. Small snake, small poops. So let's go around on the other side to deal with his water. But don't worry, I have box and hook and everything if he decides to come out. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'll pull him out anyway, so I'll just do this. Hi, right, buddy. Let's see if I can lift that up. Oh, sorry. Disturb your little nap, but yeah, I noticed some poop there, buddy. He's so chill. I love him. These guys managed to survive in the wild. I'll never know. Like, you're in Africa, and they always say, well, animals in Africa is always so crazy. But, does, does he seem crazy to you? Oh, sorry, buddy. Yeah, let's get back. Such a cool guy. Yeah, he 
you can see a little bit of his face. I wish he would poke his head out so I could take a look at his eyes. If they're still blue, well, then there's a few days until he'll shed. But if his eyes are clear, yeah, that means he'll probably shed tonight. So there was a bit of a poop here, which I removed. I didn't film that, but yeah. I noticed you could see it on the copperhead putting back part. Yeah, words, man. Those were not good. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted you to know that I took care of that and I didn't just leave it there. So I decided I won't be doing this video in a Saturday, Sunday um, kind of thing. I'll finish it today because I had a teeny tiny hope that the monocle would actually shed. Um, but yeah, my brother called uh, West Bay Reptiles. His details are down below. But yeah, my brother called. So I left the room for a bit and the monocle actually came out and I noticed that he, his eyes were still really blue. So he won't shed tonight. So we're gonna end this video pretty soon, but first we're gonna feed the saw scale vipers which is always fun, for me at least. I hope you enjoy it too, of course, but they are just, <laughs> they're too darn cute. Are those my favorite snakes? No, or maybe. Well, some of the funnest, funnest, yeah, that's a word. Some of the funnest vipers I've ever had. But yeah, let's feed them and get on with our lives. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but yeah, those eyes are seriously blue. So yeah, it'll still be a few more days until he sheds. Yeah. I just wanted to show you guys. Let's feed the salt scales. So, I mean, there's two over there. But where did the third one go? Maybe I just wave this around and he'll appear. Oh, never mind. So I want this one to strike a little bit away from the others. I'll take it, dum dum. There we go. Mm. Oops. He struck the tongs. Yeah. Hey, bro. I know you struck the tongs, but there's there's no reason for a food strike. Well, there we go. I do not like having them this close when they strike, but turned out pretty good.
And there we have it, folks. Uh, I really hope you enjoy this. Uh, I totally did. I think this was, was a fun video uh, to make, at least. I have no idea how good it will be to watch. But yeah, I'll figure that out when I edit. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna take off because it's too warm in here. I'm sweating my ass off. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, so, and please like, comment, subscribe, uh, all of that, and of course, subscribe to my brother, West Bay Reptiles, again, I'm gonna drop his details down below, and yeah, have just an amazing day, and I'll catch you on the next one, peace out.